Hello, I'm Avedi Seferian, President and CEO of RAP. Sunday, April 24th, will mark the third anniversary of one of the saddest tragedies of the industrial age. Along with my colleagues, especially those in our Dhaka office, I join with the people of Bangladesh and all their supporters around the world in memory of the over 1,100 lives lost on that day when the Rana Plaza building collapsed in Savar. We join in sorrow with those offering up prayers for them and for those who were injured and for the loved ones affected, all of whom continue to feel the impact to this day. But the tragedy at Rana Plaza had another impact as well. The silver lining around that very dark cloud was an unprecedented increase in the awareness of the importance of and the attention being given to the safety of garment workers. And the realization that this is a collective responsibility that can only be discharged through collective effort. And the resulting effort that we've seen over the past three years has been tremendous. The coalescing of all the major buyers that source from Bangladesh around two initiatives, the Accord and the Alliance, has ensured that the structural, electrical, and fire safety of factories in Bangladesh has become the focus of sustained attention with thorough inspections laying the groundwork for intense remediation efforts now in full swing. We are starting to see some of the fruits of these efforts. I have the privilege of serving on the Board of Advisors of the Alliance, and I am very familiar with the good work that they, as well as the Accord, have been doing. We at RAP have been doing our part as well, with our DACA office working harder than ever to ensure socially responsible manufacturing conditions in factories in Bangladesh and providing training on social compliance management as well as critical issues like fire safety. Other initiatives and programs have stepped up as well. And together, we have all contributed to real substantive changes, such as a reduction of almost 90% in the number of fires in factories between 2012 and 2015. And even though there were still 30 fires last year, there was significantly no loss of life associated with any of them. There remains a lot still to be done. At present, for instance, only about half of all the required remediation measures in Alliance factories have been completed. But the industry is moving forward strongly in the right direction, sending the clear message that factories that do not rise up to the relevant standards will not be able to continue working with the major buyers of the world. This is a message that is not only being applied in Bangladesh, but all over the planet. And I look forward to continuing to spread it through our work here at RAP by means of our certification program that now impacts almost 2 million workers in factories in 40 countries, as well as our education and training efforts and our partnerships with stakeholders all around the world. The lives lost and impacted on April 24, 2013 shall not be forgotten. But their legacy is not one of remembrance alone, but rather of countless lives saved and of vastly improved working conditions, not just in Bangladesh, but factories everywhere. I pray that with this legacy, those who were lost may rest in peace. Thank you.